Hi, Ken here, and today we're going to do a video on the five trays that we make here at Ultralight. So just to start, as everybody probably knows by now, all of our products are made out of aircraft grade aluminum locally here. And we take them, anodize the black coating on them and get them ready to go. So with the five trays, probably the biggest question we get asked is which tray is going to fit my camera housing? The main answer should be, do you have one hole on the bottom of your housing, which most smaller point and shoot cameras have, or do you have two on the bottom, which a lot of the larger cameras have, including something like this Kraken housing also, it has two. The reason being is if you take one and you put it on the wrong tray, the camera's going to move around on you side to side. So the tray we would suggest for this camera would be the TRD. And it actually has a little edge on here and that holds the camera in place so it doesn't go side to side. Uh, it also comes with the hardware. All of our trays come with hardware. And this would be a single handle tray. The handle that you would use would be either the TRDHB, which has the ball on it, or the TRDH, and you could add the ball later. If you would like to make it a two-handle tray, which is always what we would recommend, we have a extension here. It's called a TR-DUP. We also have with it a block, which some people use to mount it like that. But most of the time you can mount it just like that and it will work out perfect. So you would add this with another handle and you would have a two handle tray for a smaller point and shoot. The other thing you could do is if you added the GoPro tri mount, you could actually put that on that tray and you could use it for a GoPro setup or point and shoot you could mix and match and change it however you would want. Uh, the other tray we have that's popular is the TRDM tray. This one is set up for a housing with two screws on the bottom. And that way when it's mounted, there's no way for it to shift side to side. On this, if you wanted it to be a two handle tray, you would add the TR dash DUPL. We also have the TR dash DUPL XL, which as you see is a little bit longer if you need to lengthen this tray. The handles that we would recommend for this tray would be the ACH, which you can mount right here with a 3 8 bolt. Our next tray that is the TRSBLD tray. And on this, this would be for like a bigger DSLR housing, or it actually works really good for this Kraken because the Kraken case is longer. And by the time you mount it with the two handles, you still have plenty of room for your hands to grip on everything. And it works out really good. So that's what I would suggest actually for a Kraken housing. We also have two other trays. We don't sell much. Uh, this is a TRV tray. This was originally made for small video cameras. It actually though would work with a point and shoot, a GoPro. You can use one handle or you could put an extension on it and make it a two handle tray. So there are other uses for this and um, it would just depend on what you have. The last tray we have is the TRIK. We do not sell that many of these much longer. These were designed for an Icolite housing that had the 3 8 studs on the bottom and they would fit right there and they come with uh, nuts and washers to hold the camera on. And right now, that's pretty much what we sell in trays. If you have any questions on what tray you might need, give us a call. We also, on the website, do have 
all the dimensions for all the trays and the uh, extensions so you can figure out anything that you might need. Other than that, happy diving and have a great day.